Hey, what's going on, guys? Colin Griffin here for week number three, last week of the Open. Um, we're excited to do a little breakdown workout video for you guys as you hopefully are heading into quarterfinals. Um, if you're on the bubble or the cusp of qualifying, hopefully this helps you out and gets you that last little bump to get you in there. Um, but we got a classic trap of a CrossFit workout for you guys this week. Um, five round or four time. Five rounds, 10 thrusters, 10 chest bar, 95, 65, rest one minute into five more rounds of seven thrusters, seven bar muscle ups, 95, 135. Um, so that weight ticks up. That first part's a little bit lighter, technically a little bit faster, but it does not have to be. Um, and then that second part is like, is a little bit higher, uh, heavier weight, higher skill. So we'll kind of walk you guys through what our thought process is on this and how to kind of get your best score on a workout like this. This is actually Griff's specialty. I think, Griff, this one got you to the games in 2020, correct? Or like a workout like this at the Norwegian? Exactly. Yep, very similar version. Anytime something shows up like this, it's pretty much I'm finishing really high on the leaderboard, if not winning it. Um, so I'm just really good at thrusters and then going and pulling, doing gymnastics. So, um, I mean, I'm also like – I look at this one and go, it is a trap. hundred percent people are going to attack it way too hard. If you watch the release, they all went out too hot. Even crouch. She like she smoked the workout. But if you watch in the back half, it really started ticking. He probably could have saved 30 seconds on his time for yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, and then they just went out too hot because they're live, live going against everybody. Right. So the way I'm going to attack this is actually is like staying more calm. I'm going to go unbroken. This workout is an unbroken workout just for the volume and training that I do. But for me personally, it's about being smooth and calm for this type of workout. Like mm. I, it bothers me. People are like smooth is fast, but in this type of workout with, when you can go unbroken, this is the right call. Mm -hmm. um, so the first five rounds are going to be just nice and like steady controlled. Like Roman, Roman did a good job. It was about a three third, three twenty four, I think which is yeah, very fast. But if you paid attention to how he moved versus everybody else, it was very controlled. Mm -hmm. The different part that I wanted to see from him coming into that next five rounds was seeing to kind of like turn it on a little bit and instead he just got worse. So it might've been too fast for him. Mm -hmm. um, but then I'll, 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 what I'll, what I'm looking at is those last three rounds of the, the second half of that workout is really where it kind of digs in on people knowing that you have like, you have time. You don't have to rush to the bar. This isn't Fran. Don't sprint to it. You have time. The sense of urgency is much more about knowing how long your breaks can be. Mm -hmm. Not about, I got to sprint to the bar. I got to sprint and do my chest to bar. You don't need to do that. So I'll go unbroken. I'll go smooth, controlled, and wherever the kind of that time lands in the first five rounds, it's fine. My goal is to not really hurt that bad, just steady. Mm -hmm. Then those next five rounds, because the output for both movements is very tough because of the output for 135 thrusters. You got to put a lot more energy, bar muscle ups, got to put a lot more energy, even though you can kind of relax on them. Doesn't matter. It's a much higher output energy part of that workout. Mm -hmm. So at that point, I'll stay again, stay calm, stay calm, stay calm, and then start turning it on a little bit more. But being smart on how long I break is mm -hmm. ultimately where I'm looking at. For most people that can still manage that, they should be looking at, you know what, I'm going to break my chest to bar just to save my life, right? Just to calm myself down, break right. them. That's fine. You can't, you don't have to rush that. Mm -hmm. um, bar muscle ups will hurt you more to break. Um, but if you know you're going to redline, then you should be doing that. Mm -hmm. um, I think for the majority of people, it's saying like, hey, controlled smooth flow like a flow state of a workout just be locked in on an intentional how long you're resting before you pick that next bar up take that extra breath and go but right. at a certain but you can't be one of those people that's staring at it and hurting and like i don't want to pick it up you do got to pick it up um yeah. Yeah. so i'm looking at it like that for myself i'm going to go at it with a nice calm like controlled feeling and then try to kick it as i go on go through the workout i think most people are going to have to 100 percent break it from the beginning but still find their flow state the end of the day, find that you cannot be dying finishing the first five rounds. If you yeah. do, you are screwed. Yeah. 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 I think this one, so kind of obviously to what Griff was saying, like if you, if you die on those first five rounds, that is game over for you. And you saw that from the um, lady who went first, she kind of, she 
she went hard in those first rounds. I think her first her first couple of rounds were 38, right around 38 seconds. Um, and then she kind of fell apart on, I think it was her second round of bar muscle ups. And like, you still got three more to go. So um, if you watched both of them, you kind of saw um, the elite obviously went out a little bit hotter and they fell apart closer to the eighth round where she was, she was a little bit slower, but she fell apart in the second round. And that's kind of like where you're going to start to see some of these discrepancies and differences is the elites will be able to push that power output a little bit harder. And then their degradation of rep um, or just volume, overall volume is going to be pushed later. Um, so with that in mind, we want to try and stave off as much fatigue as possible in that first half, keep it controlled um, so that you can attack that second half because there is going to be some fatigue at some point coming in. But like the elites, they got there, they got hit in kind of the eighth round. That's where we were uh, wanting people to get hit is kind of that eighth and ninth round um, is when you start to really get that oh shit moment. And it's like, okay, it's time to dig in and go. So whatever you guys kind of need to do to um, manage that fatigue and, uh, you know, stave it off until the ninth round um is kind of what you're trying to do here breaking things up into two sets um breaking things up into three sets is not a problem um we're going to get some split times for you guys here in a second but taking breaks on that first half so that you're not dead on that second half is a great idea um i think you can even get away with it a little bit at the elite level as well um but we'll we'll kind of break down some split times here in a second um do you have anything else griff or I think for the majority of people, no matter who you are, unless you're going to the games, you should know anybody should all break. It's just break the straight break, break from the beginning. I mean, if you need to break the thrusters at the beginning, break the thrusters, just mm -hmm. know that your breaks need to be consistent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need to be steady and consistent. You can't yeah. sit there. I'm breaking because they told me to for 10. No break to control yourself. Yeah where you get through your five rounds and feel like you have something to attack. Mm -hmm. If you have no attack mode at all going into that second round, like, or that second set, you are doomed. Yeah. You have yeah. it. So knowing that, Hey, like break my chest bar, break my thrusters. This will be a little bit easier. I know it's going to be, but now I have more energy for that last, last time to kick it. They'll, you'll be, yeah. you'll do a lot better. You have a much better score. Yeah. Yeah. So getting into some of the split times here, guys. So if you saw um, the elites go, I think Ariel Lowen was 32 seconds. So these are these are her round times to start. 30 or when she finishes, sorry. So 32, 102, 135, 213, 254. Um, I think that's right about it's a little over 30 seconds, about 35 seconds is what that kind of averages out to be. Um so 35 second rounds. If you guys are averaging, so to break this down a little bit more, if you guys are averaging four rounds, which is about what Roman was at, you're at a 320, 50 seconds is a 410, one minute is obviously five minutes, 110 is 550, 120, 640, 130, 730. Now that is without the one minute rest. So if we are starting to get into that 120 range, you're already, uh, once you start that second workout, you're now over halfway done with the workout. So this should give you guys some pacing structures for slowing things down, but keeping it fast enough so that you have an opportunity to finish the workout, if that makes sense. So any if you're starting to creep up into that 120 range, probably going to need to adjust the game plan if you were thinking that you were going to finish or you're wanting to finish. Um, if you start creeping up into that 120 range per round to keep it unfatigued, um, you're probably looking at maybe getting into the fourth round or something like that. Um, Griffin, thoughts on that? No, I mean, that's a, that's a good, like, that's a way for you guys to all look at that. And you're like, yeah, there's no way I'm getting both of them done and under 120 Then already. No, you're not finishing this workout. So how are you going to adjust to make sure you can get the most out of it? Because mm -hmm. um, a lot of people will not finish this workout, even if they have the capability to get yep. through it yep. so kind of i would also um and i know you'll kind of go through this but like warm-up wise know kind of how long a round looks like for you mm -hmm. right it's okay to do an extra round to start to warm up and see what it's gonna 
How long is your cycle speed if you don't know? How long is your chest bar cycle speed if you don't know? How long does that round look at a controlled pace? And I kind of will give you a better idea of where you might be able to finish this workout. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely in the warm up, um, hit, you know, 10 10 and see how long that takes. Um, also, you probably will want to hit it at what you're perceiving your game pace to be. So if that's like 4 3 3 or, uh, you know, five, five or six, four or something like that. You're going to want to do that inside of your warm up just to kind of give you an idea of where you'll be at round wise. Um, and then same thing um, with the bar muscle ups. Um, but I might, I might dial that one back a little bit. Um, maybe go like four, four or five, five for that one. Um, just to, that one's more of like a feel um, you'll get a better idea of kind of where you're going to end up in the actual workout um, but to give you guys some more split times here. So, um, Ariel, uh, did come out a little bit hot. Um, she went 41 seconds. Uh, this is on her back half now. So 41 seconds, a minute and 11 seconds. So after that, obviously after that one minute rest, you're coming out a little bit hotter. Then she slowed down by 30 seconds. Then it was one seventeen, then a one thirty three, and she finished with a one thirty four. Jay was right on her with 41 seconds, 111 seconds, and then he went 112 and then purposely broke on the fourth round um, and went 120. And then on his last round, he went 101 with a break in there. So these guys were still going. Um, if if they had decided to break up their rounds, it was still possible for them to go uh, one minute rounds on that second part, which would have been a five minute workout for them. So keep that in mind too, for some of the elite athletes is you can still break this and get a pretty good score on that second half of the workout. Um, especially if you're coming in with a lot less fatigue, you're going to walk to that barbell or walk back to the bar muscle up bar significantly faster um, with a break in there. And if you have less fatigue coming off of that first one. So other thoughts, Griff? No, I think that should be enough for about it for everybody. Cool. Um, yeah, if you guys, uh, you know, if you guys are have questions about how to pace this one, it is a little bit of a different workout. Um, feel free to reach out. Uh, we're always available to to help out. Um, we will be getting to our athletes first and then helping you guys. So uh, just be a little patient with that. But uh, thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for uh, jumping in over the last three weeks. It's been um, great kind of watching watching the views and watching people kind of learn stuff from this. So really appreciate it. Um, obviously, we'll have a warm up down in the link below. If you guys are watching on YouTube and you finish this, please follow us on Instagram. Um, follow Griff's personal so he can uh, continue to jack up those followers and get some sponsorship money. <laughs> so uh, but yeah, Griff, thanks for coming on the last three weeks. Of course it's been fun i'm sure we'll do some more with quarterfinal stuff so you, or maybe we won't won't help any of y'all out because you didn't sign up for blacklisted <laughs> <laughs> definitely uh we're probably going to keep that one a little bit more in-house so trying uh we definitely like you guys to be a part of our community we got some group programs and obviously some individual coaching so you guys can find links to that stuff in the bio we got a seven day free trial on all of our group programs so go ahead and try them out um see what you think and uh we'll catch you guys Soon here.